Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about Nginx and specifically proxy pass. So how to make a proxy server using Nginx. So let's get straight into it. You can see here that I've got three uh, terminals open and the bottom right hand one uh, is self-explanatory. It's my MacBook and I am logged in with myself and we're going to use this as the basically the client, the client to do any requests. We then have two machines here. We have David at Debian 4, which is on my local network, and it has an IP address of 192.168.178 and 64. Then we have the second machine here, is Debian 3, and as you can see, it's got the IP address of 63 at the end, once again on the same local network. Um, I've Just for the sake of um, clarity, I've listed out here um, that we've Nginx is not installed on this uh, machine right now and it's also not installed on this machine and I've listed the firewall just to show that ports 22 are the only ones that are open on both machines so one we need to install Nginx two we need to open up um, port 80 on both machines um, and I've, what I've also done is I've created a um, a folder with an index.html file in Debian 4 called the proxy um, folder and the index.html and in the other I've got target with index.html and it says hello from Debian 3 and the IP address and this one says hello from Debian 4 and the IP address and the aim that we're going to do is basically this and I'm going to show you is we're going to send a request to Debian um, 4 and we we want to receive initially this message back, all right? But once we've finished setting up the proxy pass, we want to send the same request, but we want to receive this message back. And that's without sending a message um, by ourselves to Debian 3. So we want this machine to proxy our, our request directly onto this machine. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. First thing to do on Debian 4 is install uh, Nginx. Let's just do this. And whilst we're doing that, we can run the same command on the other machine as well. And just to show you that it's installed, we can see Nginx is now installed and run the same uh, command on, on the others. And now we can see that Nginx is installed on both machines. With that said, we now know that by default Nginx is running. Okay, so now if we run a curl request to uh, Debian 4, we still don't, still don't get anything. That's because we have to open up the firewall um, at port 80. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we just say sudo ufw, and we want to allow uh, port 80 using a TCP and we do that and we look at it again we now see port 80 is open and we can notice that we get welcome to Nginx uh, on on the machine underneath it so we now know that request is going through and coming back uh, once again right now um, what we also need to be able to do is to check the other machine and as you can see nothing's going through so let's open the port up on the other machine as well and on this one we'll say uh, allow uh, port 8080 and we'll say uh, TCP and let's have a look at uh, the results as we can see port 8080 is open so if we, we run this command we see we still don't get anything because the port is not open and if we send the request to uh, port 8080 we can see that it's not not coming back because nothing's listening on that one port so let's now come over to um, our Debian 3 and let's open up a uh, configuration file for Nginx and I'm just going to do it straight in the conf.d and we're going to say this is going to be called the target machine and initially we want to open up a server um, block and we want to listen on um, 8080 and the server name we are literally just going to use its IP address uh, so it doesn't get confused with anything else on the, the machine itself so this is then ending in 63 we're then going to make a location block and uh, here we're just going to say try files and then URI and then URI forward slash to say hey if you don't find that file then look inside this directory and just to be clear we're going to be using a an index of index.html so this is saying hey uh, if index.html exists then use that 
else if whatever that request is coming through is a, a directory then look in that directory and see if there's an index.html here and if not then let's just give a 404 and we're also going to put the root directory was a var www um, forward slash then um, target and, and this is all perfectly fine now this will work so we're listening on port um, 8080 um, and we're only listening on the server name of 192.168.178.63 so localhost will not work here only when this IP address has been used it's looking for an index.html in the target directory and we are basically uh, done done there and from here we can test that nginx is all happy which it is and we can reload uh, this once again and we can send the message and now you can see uh, on port 8080 we get hello from debian 3 which is not what we want we want to be able to go through port uh, debian 4 but we've now set this one up so let's now go into exactly the same thing on on uh, debian 4 and uh, we're going to put it under the conf directory again and we're going to say um, proxy.conf and this one we literally copy in the, exactly the same text that we've done before um, and this one's going to listen on uh, port 80 and the server name we're going to use is once again it's at uh, our uh, its IP address and which is going to be 192.168.178.64 um, but this time we don't really care about any indexes but um, for the sake of clarity to show you um, which steps we're going through we're going to copy exactly the same from before and uh, and then we're going to add the proxy pass so we now want to say try files once again and URI and this is if we just wanted to send the request as per normal to um, this one server and we're then going to say uh, root is var ww and this is then uh, proxy here. So let's save this. Let's say to Nginx, are you happy? It says I'm happy. So now we can use Nginx s reload to reload it. And we can come to um, my MacBook terminal now and send the request. And you can see we get hello from Debian 4 with the IP address, which is super awesome. And uh, we now do 63 once again. And we get nothing while on that one port, but we do 180, oh sorry, 80, 80, and we go to Debian 3. Okay, we've now got both servers up and running, and the final bit is now to do the proxy. So let's just um, play around with this. If we say location, and let's say API, for example, and from here, we're going to say proxy, whoops, proxy pass. And this is going to, then going to go HTTP, and we're going to go 192.168.178.63 and then do a forward slash and we're going to save this and then come ask nginx are you happy and it is still happy and then we're going to do this and now we're going to come to our terminal once again and we're going to send the curl request once again right as per port 80 and nothing changes however if we put this on it we now get uh, we now we now get nothing which is correct because we didn't put the port in uh, we didn't we didn't put the port uh, in there so this was all running correctly we need to put the port in in here okay so it was sending a request on port 80 uh, which I forgot to do and now if we send this request once again we get hello from Debian 4 and now if we put API in front of it you can see now we get hello from Debian 3. So this, this in the background, it's sending the request over uh, to, uh, to Debian 3. Now, what we can do, just to really show you how crazy this is, if we open up uh, the, the one file that we've got over here, and now we come back here and, uh, whoops, And if we say that this is then location API um, proxy, for example, uh, yeah, okay, this this will work. Proxy, and then we can we can say we can send the request back basically here, and we'll say 64 on port 80. Um, but we'll say this is then tester, right? 
So we're going to say, uh, if you get a request of API proxy, then send the re request back to tester. So let's let's see whether this works. Huh? <laughs> like it should work. Unknown directive. Oh, what did we do wrong there? Oh, yeah. And we need a proxy pass. And now let's try this once again. Nginx is happy. Reload. So let's now send the API request and we get Debian 3. Now let's send the request here to, to uh, 64. And now we get a not found request, right? This is going back to Debian 4. Now if we come... Um, if we come to here and, well, actually, because this is getting a 404, all we now have to do is come into our uh, our directory and we have the index.html. So let's just go ahead and uh, create a tester, uh, a tester, um, Let's just open this up again to show you again. It says tester. So this means it needs to be a tester directory. So let's make the tester uh, directory. And then let's open up um, an index.html in here. Say hello from, from tester. And let's send the request once again. And we still get uh, not found. Okay, with a little bit of messing around and a little bit of editing uh, power, uh, I now found the problem. Um, yeah, basically we just added uh, a forward slash onto here, which then meant it added another forward slash on the other end, uh, which is why uh, it, it couldn't find the file. So this is the, actually the correct one. It shouldn't have had a forward slash uh, on the end. So let's just go ahead and save that now and uh, reload, it was already reloaded. And as you can see, it says, hello from tester. If we remove the, the, the dash large uh, uppercase L, you can see we get a move permanently, which is correct because it went from proxy uh, to this in the background. Um, so you need to add, you need to add um, dash L on curl to say, hey, follow, follow any request, which it does. And it goes to uh, hello from tester. Um, so this is basically, this is basically a uh, a, a proxy a situation here where, where let's just open uh, all of them them up again, and uh, and uh, yeah, this is basically the the, the proxy uh, working at its best. Now there are many many other things that you can do to configure this. This is really just a basic introduction of uh, what proxies do. Uh, whether you want to use it like this is, is down to you, but I just wanted to show you that you can, uh, with Nginx, you can ping backwards and forwards um, from different servers um, yeah, without the user really actually knowing what's going on. And there is so much more that you can do with this, so, so, so much more. But I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to what you can actually do um, with proxy passes with literally no other configurations we have only used proxy pass and there's loads of other other parameters and all sorts of stuff that you can do with this okay but i hope you've got something out of this video and i hope you've also seen that people do make mistakes and with a little bit of debugging and knowing what you're doing uh, you can find out um, using the logs the access loss the uh, access logs and the error logs and so on to know what is going on and with a little bit of experience it makes it a little bit better with that said thank you very much for watching and i'll uh, see you in the next video if you do have any questions pop them in the comments below and if you have any other ideas uh, then uh, let me know and I'll, I'll think about making a video thanks then see you later bye bye